Hello. So today we are having another question. A man of mass 70 kg stands on a weighing scale, okay, in a lift that is moving. A, op a part upward with a uniform speed of 10 meter per second. B downward with a uniform acceleration of 5 meter per second square. C upward with a uniform acceleration of 5 meter per second square. What would be the reading on the scale in each case? Do you, what would be the reading if the lift mechanism failed and it hurtled down freely under gravity? So what we need to do right now in this case, as we have already discussed the formula for the lift formula, we also know that formula by the name of lift formula. We have already discussed that during the class. And I have told you that when the lift move upward, the formula was something like R is equals to M G plus A, right? When the lift move upward, try to understand when we say the lift is moving upward, the symbol here is plus. When we say the lift is moving downward, then R is equals to M G minus A. If you really want to understand from how this formula is derived, we have already discussed this during the class. So you can refer to your notes. Now you just need to remember if the lift, lift is moving upward with an acceleration A, then the apparent weight of the person will be given by this formula, first one. And if the lift is moving downward with an acceleration A, then the apparent weight of the person will be given by this below formula. Okay, so now the formulas are clear. So I think we are ready for the question. So let's discuss first of all. First of all, we need to write down that the mass is given, mass of the person. We are going to denote this by small m. And this is equals to 70 kg. Now the person is on the scale, okay, and the lift is moving upward with a uniform speed of 10 meter per second. So in the A part, try to understand, they have said that the lift is moving uniform with uniform speed of 10 meter per second. What does it mean? It simply means that the acceleration is zero. Now you must be thinking how this is possible because it said uniform speed of 10 meter per second. It simply means the speed is not changing. It is uniform. And you know that acceleration is having a formula V minus U upon T. So if the velocity or the speed is not changing, it means that the both are having the same value. So let's say V is actually equals to U because it is equals to initial velocity. So it will be like this. So acceleration is coming out to be zero. Although the lift is moving upward, they have written it. So accordingly, the formula for the apparent weight of the person, apparent weight is equals to or comma is equals to r because we are going to denote it by the symbol r which is actually the normal reaction this is equals to m g plus a right now m is already given to us this is actually 70 and what is g g is actually 9.8 see if nothing is given we have to take the actual value of g which is 9.8 if they have given that g, take g is equals to 10 then we will take that now since acceleration is already zero, you know that. So the answer is coming out to be 70 into 9.8 and the answer will be in Newton. Okay. But try to understand, read the question, what they are saying, what would be the reading on the scale in each case? And the reading on the scale must not be in Newton. It must be in kg, right? So what we need to do, if we want to have the final answer in kg, because we need to find out the reading on the scale, what we need to do, we need to divide this apparent weight because this is weight, right? And weight is equals to mg. And if you want to calculate the mass, because mass is being read by this thing, you know? So if you want to have the mass, you need to divide the weight by g. So m is equals to w upon g. We already got the w, which is actually normal reaction, right? So what we need to do, we need to divide this thing by 9.8. And I have not multiplied it so that they can be easily cancelled out, right? So I'm going to it is this thing because you got the formula. So let me write it. The reading on the scale will be reading on the scale is equals to 70 into 9.8 divided by 9.8, right? So we can cancel this out and this is coming out to be 70 kg. So what is the reading? The 70 kg. And what is the actual mass of the person? 70 kg. Now, since there is no acceleration happening, that's why the apparent weight will be equal to the actual weight of the person. Or you can say the apparent mass of the person will be equal to the actual mass of the person. So the first part is clear to all of you. So let's move to the next one. Let me delete this formula so that we can have some space.
let me do it yeah so let's talk about the b part in b part it is clear that downward the lift is moving downward with a uniform acceleration of 5 meter per second it simply means the acceleration value is not changing it is uniform but there must be some acceleration and this is equals to 5 meter per second square right so what need we need to find out we need to find out the apparent weight and apparent weight is actually given by r and since the lift is moving downward what we need to do we need to use this formula r is equals to m g minus a so what is m by the way m is actually 70 we know that and what is z it is 9.8 and what is a you can see it is given in the question 5 so it will be 9.8 minus 5 what is it will be 9.8 minus 5 will be 4.8 right so you can multiply it no problem at all you can multiply it and have the answer in newton but we need to find out the reading on the scale right so let me reading on the scale is equals to we have to divide it by you know that 9.8 so let me do it 4.8 9.8 right so you can see the point will cancel out with this one so we are getting 70 into 48 divided by 9.8 sorry 98 this is just a plain calculation i think that you all can do it now i'm going to do it by let's do it quickly because we don't have that much time of doing the calculation right now so i'm going to multiply 70 into 48 and let's divide it by 98 so the answer which is I am getting is 34.28. Let me write it 34.28 kg. As you can see, the actual mass of the person is 70 kg, but the reading which is right now is 34.28. And this is as per the discussion that we have done in the class that when the lift moves downward, the weight of the person, mass of the person decreases. So you can see 34.28, not 28, 34.28 kg. I hope you got the B part. So should we move to the third part or the C part right now? So let's move to the C part of the question, right? So let's do it. I think we need to have some space, right? So should I delete the first part? Okay. I hope you have noted it. I'm going to delete the first part so that we can have some space now in the c part they are saying uh, the lift is moving upward with a uniform acceleration of five meter per second i think this is quite similar you can do it easily this time the acceleration is five meter per second square but the lift is moving upward so the formula that will, you will going to use is g plus a instead of g minus a so the apparent weight is coming out to be m g plus a g is 9.8 let me also write the value of m which is which was 70 uh, 9.8 plus 5 and you know 70 into 9.8 plus it will be 14.8 right so this is coming out to be newton because this is actually the weight of the person but we need to find out the reading so let me write it reading on this scale is equals to 70 into 14.8 divided by 9.8 you can see the points will cancel out with each other so the final answer will be given by multiplying 70 into 148 divided by 98 okay so let's do it 70 multiplied by 148 divided by 98 and the answer is coming out to be 105 10571 kg so you can see when the lift is moving upward the reading will increase reading on the scale is increased here in the last part i have told you that the mass is increasing i need or decreasing i need to explain it very carefully that the mass never increases never decreases the mass actual mass of the person will remain same this is actually the apparent mass which appears okay so this is as per the value on the scale so let's talk about the last part of the question in the last part d part they are saying what would be the reading if the lift mechanism failed and it hurdled down freely under gravity most of you are aware when something falls freely then it falls with an acceleration of 9.8 right so since the lift is falling downward so what we need to do we need to use the equation which is having the negative sign right so let's write it down this is the d part here the acceleration is actually g k equal a right acceleration is equals to g which is equals to 9.8 meter per second square so we got it a is equals to g is equals to 9.8 meter per second square and since the lift is moving downward 
because when it when the lift will fall, it moves downward, right? So the formula should be m g minus a. So r is equals to m, m is equals to seventy, and this time a is also equals to g. So g will cancel out with g, and r is coming out to be seventy into zero, which is coming out to be zero newton. Since the normal reaction is equals to zero, the apparent weight is coming out to be zero. So the reading on the scale must be equals to zero, and the person will start floating, right? So uh, reading on the scale, reading on the scale. Is equals to zero, and the person starts floating in the lift. I hope you got all the four points A, B, C, D. Thank you very much.